Hello and welcome. This is a clipping of my extended jewelry crafting guide so it's easier to find what traits there are and how you get them for jewelry crafting or Somerset. Our first three, which is Arcane, which increases Magicka, Healthy, which increases your health, or Robust, which increases your stamina, are all originally in the base game. All of these trait materials can be acquired by refining jewelry crafting base materials, so such as your platinum dust. When you refine it, you'll have a chance of getting some pulverized versions of these trait materials that you can create into one full trait stone. In order to research these three traits, it should be a pretty easy time. Almost every piece of jewelry in Tamriel drops in one of these three traits. Here we have the Triune trait, which increases your Magicka, Stamina, and Health by a flat number. In order to find jewelry with this trait on it, in order to be able to research it, you'll need to be doing some of the new Conquest board dailies in Cyrodiil. The trade item, Dawn Prism, can be purchased from war researchers in Cyrodiil for 100,000 AP. Of course, we do still have an infused trait, which increases jewelry enchantment effectiveness. In order to get jewelry with the infused trait for researching, necklaces and rings with the infused trait have a chance to drop from Sigic portals found all over Tamriel. Keep in mind that you cannot see these Sigic portals unless you have unlocked the Sigic Guild skill line. In order to get the actual trait material, that can also be found from Sigic portals. Keep in mind that most of the time it will be the pulverized version, but there is a rare chance for it to come in its refined form. Here we have Protective, which increases your spell resistance and physical resistance. Jewelry for this that, so you can research it, will be obtained by completing the Somerset main quest and Sigic order quest lines. The trade item, which is titanium for protective, can rarely be found when you're harvesting jewelry seams. Keep in mind, you will have a higher chance to find it if you're harvesting jewelry seams found in Somerset. Swift, which increases your movement speed. Necklaces and rings with this trait will have a rare chance to be awarded when completed normal jewelry crafting rits. If you'd like to be able to purchase the Trait Stone, you're actually going to need to do that from the Master Rip Merchants for Rip Vouchers. Here we have Harmony, which increases your damage, healing, resource restore, and damage shield strength of synergies you activate. In order to be able to research this, you can find rings and necklaces in the Undaunted Chest that you get to open for doing your pledges. And the trade item itself can be found in the daily dungeon looking for group reward mails. Keep in mind you'll most likely get the pulverized version in those reward mails, but there is a rare chance to get a full trait stone. Our final trait is Bloodthirsty. To get some rings and necklaces with the Bloodthirsty trait on it, well, head out and do some trials. These can be found rarely in the weekly quest reward boxes. The trade item can also be found in those same reward boxes. Something to note, oddly enough, is that when you receive the trade item, Slaughterstone for Bloodthirsty, you're actually going to acquire it in its refined form. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or if this helped you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're interested to see more. Thanks for joining me, I'm Miss Fizz, bye for now.